Hello, and welcome back to the At Home Educator Podcast. Hello again, everyone. As always, it is Brittany here, and I am here to talk to you about at home education. <laughs> Um, I wanted to start this episode by just saying thank you for coming back to episode 7 of this podcast. I can't believe we're already on episode 7. I know that's not that much, but it seems like a lot to me. And I'm kind of proud of myself for keeping it going. So um, I hope you're enjoying and hopefully you'll love today's episode just as much as you've loved all the other ones. Um, Real quick, before we jump into today's topic, which is my March by the Numbers, if you didn't see the title of this episode, I wanted to just let you guys know that I now have a Facebook page. So on that Facebook page, I will be posting all of the episodes and all of the links that I talk about in any of the episodes that I make. So if you want to go follow me on Facebook so you can see all of that stuff, I will leave the link in the description. And as always, also in the description, there will be a link to my Instagram, the website, and the email. You can send me a DM of just introducing yourself. You can send me an email talking about yourself or asking me a question, or you can visit the website and check out a little bit about me and also ask a question there if you have one. So without further ado, let's dive into today's subject. This week, I am diving into my month of March by the numbers. And that just means that I'm going to go through my statistics, what classes I taught, how many, how much I made, and everything like that. And before we jump in, I wanted to just say real quick that this is not meant to discourage anybody. This is meant to encourage you. I am sharing my story because if you haven't listened to my first 100 days podcast, I did not come from the easiest of starts on VIP Kid, and I've come a long way. So I'm proud to share, and I hope that my story will inspire you to have your own success story as well with VIP Kid. So, Before we get started, I wanted to share my goals with you from March, just so you can kind of see um, how it worked out for me and, you know, what I did and what I didn't do. So I only had really two VIP kid oriented goals for March, and that was to teach 100 classes and to get both of my TESOL certificates. Um, TESOL certificates, for those of you that may not know, are teaching English as a second language. VIP Kid offers them for free and you can use them as a credential when you're applying to a job or you can use them as a credential on VIP Kid. Parents see them and they're more likely to book you because you look more official. So those are my two goals and I'm happy to say that I reached those two goals. So how many classes did I teach? I taught 101 classes in March. Round of applause. Yay for teacher Brittany. (laughs) Um, That is a big thing because in February, I only taught 14 classes. (laughs) So in one month, my change has almost been tenfold. And that is really good for me. Um, And I was almost fully booked. So in the month of March, I opened up 110 slots for people to book and 101 of those were taken so i was almost fully booked in march i was teaching almost every day i did take a week off because we had family visiting and it was nice to be able to take a week off and still reach my goal and feel really accomplished um so definitely hit my goal on that one and i'm very proud of myself um that is a great thing about vip kid is that you can take time off anytime that you want or that you need to. So if you have family coming in, as long as they give you a good amount of notice (laughs) and you want to take time off, you can just boop, boop, close your slots and then you're off. And obviously it doesn't affect you too much because I took a whole week off and I was still able to teach a substantial amount of classes and hit the goals that I had for March. Um, So how much money is that you may be asking how much money does 101 classes translate to well this month i made one thousand and fifty three dollars woo yay another round of applause um like i said i'm not sharing this to boast but 
I am very proud of myself and I know that a lot of you can make more than me and are making more than me, but I am very proud of myself and what I have made. So that $1,053 is not just from teaching classes. Um, 810 of it is from teaching classes and I only teach major courses. I do not teach trials or anything like that. So I get eight dollars per class and that's a major course um which for those of you who don't know a major course is just like a normal class with vip kid it's not anything special it's not um a new student that you're trying to sign up it's not um an extra class that they can sign up for it's just a normal class with a vip kid a normal course um within the units so for each class i get paid eight dollars and i taught 101 classes so that's $810, but VIP Kid is awesome. So you also get what's called a participation incentive for um, each major course class that you teach. So you get $1 for every major course class. So I made an extra $101 because I taught 101 classes. So technically I'm making $9 per class. Now, I also made $41 from other incentives during the month of March and... That's another great thing about VIP Kid. So if you are already a VIP Kid teacher, make sure that you are looking at the newsletters that they send you each week because a lot of times they will have incentives for teachers in them. And this month they had an incentive for opening up um, peak slot times. So you got some extra money if you opened up a certain number of peak slot times for your bookings and um, if you had a referral. So... This month, I opened, I'm not sure the exact number, but enough um, peak slot times that I got an extra incentive from that. And it was great because the peak slot times are usually when I teach anyway, because that's the, the times that are most likely to get booked. So I already had them open and I got an incentive for that. Um, and then I also got one referral and she was my first referral. So shout out to new VIP kid teacher, Brianna, thank you so much for trusting me um, to help get th you through the hiring process. And I think she has taught her first class. So I will leave a link to her Instagram in the description and you all should go over and welcome her to the VIP Kid community. <laughs> She's great. Um, she taught with VIP, with Go Go Kid before teaching with VIP Kid. So she is a pro at this and uh, she nailed it. No problem. <laughs> So thank you, Brianna, and go show her some love. Like I said, I made $1,053 in the month of March, and compared to February, that is also almost 10 times what I made. So in February, I only made $126. It was $112 from teaching major courses and $14 for participation incentives, which is because I only taught 14 classes. So that is also almost a tenfold increase. Um, so it's really great. I'm very proud of myself and it's awesome to, to see success and to make that much money um, working as much as I work. Which brings us to our next topic of discussion, which is what exactly are my hours? Um, I posted my March earnings on Instagram and a lot of you were asking you know like do you work all the time and it kind of made me laugh because there are a lot of people <laughs> who make a lot more than me and work a lot more than me um one that I can think of is uh the VIP kid guy on Instagram and I'll link him below he is amazing and he works overnights all the time and makes tons of money which is great for him but unfortunately I can't do that just because of my family life um so my hours are different and that's how everybody will be everybody's hours will be different depending on your needs your wants your goals so I will share mine with you and hopefully you can find hours that work for you as well so my hours right now are Monday through Thursday from 5 a.m to 7 a.m Fridays from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. and then at night from 10 p.m. to midnight and then Sundays from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. So I take one day a week off and that's on Saturdays and it's nice because I kind of get to sleep in. <laughs> My daughter still wakes up at like 7.30 in the morning so not super late but I'm not getting up at 4.30 so sleeping into me. <laughs> and so for those of you who are math people, that's only 17 hours a week 
or 68 hours a month. And like I said, I'm almost fully booked. So I do work pretty much all of those hours. But really, in this grand scheme of things, that is not a lot of work time. 17 hours a week is less than most part-time jobs give you. Um, From my experience working in a part-time job, I usually worked like 20-something hours a week. And I had to leave the house. And I had to go somewhere and deal with people. And (laughs) I don't even have to leave my house with VIP kid. I get to wear my pajamas and teach in the morning. So it's great. Um, This shows, my hours show that you can be successful not working crazy, crazy hours. If you want to work crazy, crazy hours, go for it. You do you. But (laughs) my hours are proof that you don't have to. I do not work overnights. I do not have to have someone come and watch my baby while I'm teaching because the hours are when she's awake. I teach while she's sleeping in the morning and at night on Fridays. So she is asleep. I'm not missing any time with her. And I get to teach the cutest little kids in China. So (laughs) it works great. And it's nothing crazy. I cannot do overnights because, um, I mean, I think I might die. (laughs) Obviously, I'm kidding. Um, But if I worked an overnight, I couldn't catch up on my time because my sleep time because my husband works and the baby obviously wakes up. And like I've said before, babies do not care how much sleep you've gotten. They're going to be awake when they're awake. So (laughs) um, if I worked an overnight, I wouldn't have time to nap or catch up on my sleep. So it wouldn't work for me. But I still made a substantial amount of money not working overnights, and only working hours that worked for me. So it's proof that you don't have to work crazy hours. Um, I mean, getting up at 4.30 in the morning was not the easiest thing at first, I will admit, but (laughs) I'm getting used to it now. So I set my coffee, I get up. It takes me about 10 minutes to get ready because you don't have to do anything fancy to teach with VIP kid. Basically, you just have to look presentable from the waist up. (laughs) and then I sit down and I start teaching. I wear my pajama pants, get things done, and then I'm done with my work day by the time my daughter wakes up, and it's awesome. So whatever works for you works for you, and you can make it work. So make sure that your hours are not something that are not achievable. Don't work overnights if you don't want to work overnights. Don't work super early if you don't want to work super early. Maybe work at night. Do whatever works for you. And whatever works for you will be enough. So like I said before, I'm not sharing this to brag or to boast. And I'm not sharing this to show off how much money I have. Obviously, there's lots of people out there who work a lot more than me, who make a lot more than me. Um, But I am showing you that you can do it. It is worth it. Um, Hopefully these numbers kind of show you that you can bounce back from a low point. Maybe you didn't start off with the greatest schedule with VIP Kid when you first started like I did. Um, I will link that podcast in the description. But basically, if you don't know, in my first 100 days, I had, I think, four teacher no-shows, which are very, very bad. And almost no bookings because teacher no-shows make your ratings for the parents go down in the toilet. So (laughs) I was not looking so hot. And I think now I can safely say I've, I've recovered. And it shows me that VIP kid is on my side. So (laughs) this is something that you can do too. And that is worth it. Um, $1,058 is, is not just chump change. I mean, it's not a livable income. If VIP kid is the only thing that you're doing, if VIP kid is the only thing that you're doing for work, then you may have to, um, either work more hours or find something else supplementary, but VIP kid is a great supplementary income. Um, I, after I had a baby, I had a hard time feeling like my days were fulfilled. Not that I don't love my baby, but before I had her, I was working full-time as a brick-and-mortar teacher, and it was really rewarding for me. I really loved it. I loved my students. I loved my job, and then I got pregnant a little bit earlier than I expected, and I kind of had to give it up and I missed it a lot and staying inside all day with a baby is 
after a while, it can make you go a little stir crazy. And any of you moms or dads or or new moms or new dads probably know what I'm talking about. Um, so VIP Kid has allowed me to stay home with my baby and still kind of feel like I have a little bit more purpose in my day. Um, not that taking care of a baby is not a good purpose, but <laughs> um, it gives me something else to focus on. So I can stay home, fulfill my want to work, not have to pay for daycare, contribute meaningfully to my family's income, and still experience the joy of teaching. I loved it before, like I said, and I still love it now, and it's a super rewarding job. These kids that you get to teach in China are great. We may have very different cultures. We may be very far away from each other, but the opportunity to teach them is awesome. They have great stories. They're involved in great things. Um, if you have students, I encourage you to encourage them to share with you what they do in their free time. Um, just as a little side story, um, I have a student who's one of my regulars and he plays basketball. And I guess they're having some kind of basketball tournament in their their team. And so he has been keeping me updated on his place and now they're in fourth place and i'm not sure if in china competition is like as much of a big thing as it is in america because he doesn't seem too upset about it and i feel like an american kid would probably be a little more upset about being fourth place but of course i'm super encouraging and i was like yeah fourth place good job <laughs> but it's great to to see him regularly and to have him share that with me and to feel that connection just like you might in a brick and mortar classroom. In a brick and mortar classroom, you have students that have things going on outside of school or even involved with school and they love to share with you. And so you still get that fulfillment from VIP Kid. Um, so the main thing that I want to remind you is that everyone is different. Everyone is going to have a different schedule. Everyone is going to have different goals and you need to find what works for you. Whatever makes you feel happy, whatever makes you feel fulfilled and fits your needs and helps you reach those goals. Um, so speaking of goals, <laughs> I wanted to share my April goals with you all just for kind of a, an, an accountability check for me and uh, to maybe inspire you to set some goals of your own. So here are my goals for April 2019. April 2019, I want to teach 150 classes, which I think will be possible because I'm not taking any time off this month. So if I taught 101 with a week off, I should be able to reach 150 with no weeks off. Um, I'm going to get certified in level three. Um, I already have everything planned out. If you watch my Instagram stories, you've probably seen. I just haven't sat down and done the actual thing yet <laughs> but i'm going to soon and hopefully i get certified so i'll keep you guys updated on that and then another one of my goals is to get two more referrals so vip kid is a growing community and as a teacher if you didn't know when you refer people and help them through the hiring process vip kid does reward you a little bit monetarily and it's a great way to help people out and get them into this great community and also to help you out and uh, give you some extra income from not just from teaching classes so i want to reach out to two more people and get them to join this awesome community this month that's my goal um and then my last one is to get five uh, resources up on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Um, I also, I right now, I have my conjugation chart um, for VIP Kid. It's a cool little chart that you can use when you're conjugating verbs with kids. Um, and I will leave a link for that. It's free on my Teachers Pay Teachers store if you want to check it out. And also I have a Spring Animal Find a Star um, reward that's printable. And I will also put that on my Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, and it's also free, of course. It didn't take me very long to make, so I don't mind sharing it with you for free. Um, and then I, I want to come up with three more things to go on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. I, as a brick and mortar teacher, really loved creating resources for my team teachers. Um, I was like, 
I don't want to sound braggy, but <laughs> the techno expert, which is not saying much because <laughs> in a brick and mortar classroom, if you're a brick and mortar teacher, you know that the tech is very low. So, but, but it was my job when I was teaching. So it was really a great thing that I loved to do and I want to continue to do it. So I want to keep creating resources that I can share on my teachers pay teachers store and maybe that you guys can get some use out of. So if you have any ideas, feel free to share them with me. Um, and if you want to try out anything, Thing. I've got, uh, like I said, that conjugation chart and the find a star reward up there. So they're free. You can go download them and I'll leave the links in the description. So that is my march by the numbers. Um, I hope that sharing this with you has inspired you. Um, I hope that maybe it has kind of been an accountability check. Maybe you want to check in and share how your march went. Um, so what have we learned from this? Uh, so I have learned that VIP Kid is a viable source of income. I think that this is truly an opportunity for me to contribute to my family meaningfully while still staying at home. It's it's not a scam. It's not a bad deal. It's a good deal. And I mean, this month really solidified that for me. I also learned that VIP Kid is a company that's on your side. It's on my side. I was able to recover from my first 100 days, all the mistakes I made, and um, they give great incentives that really help, you know, create even more of that supplemental income. So they're really looking out for you. They're, they're, they want you to be successful because, I mean, in turn, they're going to be successful. If they have happy teachers who want to work all the time, then they're going to have happy parents and happy students who want to come to VIP Kid all the time. So it's a great deal. Um, and I learned that setting goals is important and it's good for your success. Um, I did share this in my time management podcast um, that I was really starting to set goals for myself. And this month kind of solidified that it is worth it. Um, so I encourage you to set your own goals for April and see if you can reach them and kind of check in. If you want me to be your accountability person, go ahead, send them to me and I'll check in at the end of the month and be like, hey, how'd you do? Let's share. <laughs> and I'd love to hear from you. So let me know, how did your March go? How did you do? Did you reach your goals? Did you not reach your goals? What, do you, what are you going to do different for April? Um, also, what schedule is working best for you? Um, I think I have my schedule pretty much figured out, but I may want to change it. So maybe if you share your schedule with me, I can make some tweaks to mine and you can make some tweaks to yours and we can share ideas. That's how this world works, right? Um, so let me know. And also, what are your goals for April? What goals are you going to set for yourself for next month? Um, and if you have any questions about me, about anything I talked about today, please, please let me know. As always, you can reach out to me through Instagram, through my website, or through email. I will have those links below. And don't forget that we now have Facebook. Um, I have a page where you can reach out to me and easily follow me. So I will link that below as well. I think that is all I have for you guys today. So this was a short one, but it was an important one and I hope you enjoyed. Um, remember, have fun, teach regularly, and live your best life. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.